Silence. Ladies, listen very carefully to this one. Luke chapter 2, verse 19 gives us a reference to the kind of person Mary was. An angel came from heaven, gave a word to give birth to the Son of God. And after that, this woman's life changed. A virgin has never slept with any man before. And now she's pregnant. She gave birth to this boy successfully. Verse 19, want to go? What does that mean? John chapter 7, if I'm correct, you will notice that in that chapter, chapter 7, chapter 8, they were about to go to a feast and the bible says the siblings of jesus told him that if you are truly anointed go and show your power at the feast then the scripture goes on to say for they did not believe in him and that shocked me because you would think that at some point in the upbringing of jesus when somebody was fighting with jesus and slapped him mary might have come and say my dear you just slap the son of god though take it easy oh. i don't want problem oh. this boy is very special maybe one day as she was raising the children she would have given jesus an extra cup of milo and milk yes or no no yes or no now because some of our parents were not very good with hiding the fact that they preferred you or their siblings or your siblings but there's a capacity you must have to be able to know something and shut up so you see that it was not just virginity that the angels were looking for yes she was a virgin but i'm sure you know she was not the only virgin in israel right i mean they married very early mary was about 13 14 when she was betrothed are you aware of that are you aware of that now you know abby so at the age of 13 14 is it a shock even in this nigeria as we are is it a shock to be a virgin how much more weird they stone people when you sleep with another person's husband so what was special about mary was not really the virginity are you following there were capacities which are not aware of that you are seeing now mary had capacity to shut up A God can speak to you and nobody will know what God has said to you in your secret place for 10 years I ask you a question today how many things about your life is secret it's not difficult to rob some of you once you go on your profile we know your house we know how many rooms are there we know where the gate is we know where you live everything is on facebook you make it very easy for people anything that happens in your life before it even happens you have shared it next week i'll be gaining admission you have not gained the admission no some people are always shocked when men of god's wedding bells come out ah all of a sudden this is getting married. Have you seen that before? Have you seen that kind of thing before? Okay. I don't know why people do that. I don't know why people do that kind of thing. Praise God. There are so many issues you will be going through if you learn to what? Shut up. This matter is a very serious matter. Keep things in your heart. Let bodies be expressed in your heart. Some of you talk until all the bodies are gone. The body just entered in the meeting, watchman conference. You have used talk in the house to dissipate all the body you have not yet prayed to. Every friend you meet, ah, there's problem in the body of Christ. There's problem with this challenge you. Ha! I know where I'm supposed to be. Kai, 
It's sad. It's sad. You have not prayed one minute about the body. You have poured the body to 15 people. Who in turn go and pour it to other what? 15 people. Everybody is talking about what they're not praying about. Learn to keep things in your heart. You can have something in your heart and you're saying another thing. Choose to be a secret keeper. God is a secret keeper. The Bible says the secrets of the Lord. Are we too? Come on. Are we too? There should be secrets about your life nobody knows. If something as loose as he was still knew how to keep secrets, how much more a virgin? You didn't catch what I just said. Samson, in all his looseness, still knew that there are some things I cannot do. I can't talk too much. Oh. I know I'm sleeping around everywhere. But there are certain secrets I can't share. I can't talk. Are you not seeing discipline? The problem is that one day, that strength you call discipline will fall. If you don't guard your consecrations. But Samson, as careless as he was, knew that he should shut up and not say some things everywhere and the believer today must take this seriously so as you rise in the ranks you'll be tested on this you will know things you will not share god will check your heart as things are revealed to you you will know things about people and say nothing i remember one dimension that opened up 2010 and I notice when I get to my room, I will be hearing conversations of some people in their hostel about me. Hey, can you see what Lawrence did today in class? And then they'll be talking. I'll be hearing back and forth, back and forth. I will know the people, I'll see the faces. And sometimes you'll just see me pause in the room. And the next day, that's when I knew people's hearts are wicked. When I go to class and I see this same person, Lawrence, how were you? I can't believe. So I want to confirm. Let me be sure it's not my imagination. Sorry, oh, are you in this hostel? Say yes. Were you with this person at two twenty-five yesterday? Say yes, how do you know? Ha! Ah, and you are greeting me like this. I had to tell God, I am not sure I'm one of those people that can handle this kind of thing. If I know somebody is talking at my back, it will be paining me. How many of you understand what I'm saying? That yes, you are saying has to come to an end this year. That you will know that they are talking at your back and you will still rejoice because you have risen above that. Are you getting what I'm saying? Capacity. You will come to terms with the fact that if you are truly doing a great work, people will hate you, talk at you, lie against you, and betray you. Do you understand what I'm saying?